okay, let's use the slope angle overlay to sketch out a couple of other possible routes. So we're starting here at our lake in the lower right. And let us, let's go ahead and create a route. So we'll start down here and we'll try to stay in areas away from the purple and black, which are the highest slope angles. So we can probably snake up through the ridge there, hit the moraine and then head down to the lake. Let's save that. Let's do another one. This one going north out of the lake and we can see quite a lot of low angle terrain here. And then maybe there's a slot through there that allows us to get up on this ridge. And then take the long way down. And we could either connect with this route and head down that way, but let's go ahead and do a quick, quicker descent down to the lake right there. Okay. So that's with slope angles. Now slope angles are not entirely accurate. So let's take a look at something that we know is accurate and that is satellite imagery. So let's turn up the world imagery layer from Esri and take a closer look at these routes. Let's look at the first one we created. So we can see that it goes by some cliff bands here and let's go ahead and edit that route and we'll fine tune it a little bit to avoid cliff bands like we see right here. And looks like there's another one over here. So we'll want to skirt the edge of that. And then the route we drew on slope angle on the slope angle overlay has us going up through the middle of these cliffs. And so we're going to want to find something that doesn't do that. We look for vegetation edges because they typically are easier to hike on. And we kind of snake through here, avoiding the rocks and cliffs. And this gets us up into the ridge area. And we probably don't even need to go that far up. And then we can make our descent. And the descent looks pretty good until we get into here. And then we're going to have to avoid those cliffs. And then we can hit the moraine and head down to the lake. So that gives us a little more resolution. Let's do the same exercise for the second route we created. Start at the lake. The route has us immediately going over a cliff there. So let's avoid that. Head up the scree field here. Everything looks pretty good until we get into this area, which is a big uh, cliffy area. And so we can avoid that area there. And then it looks like there is a gully heading up. So we might stay in that gully until we get up to the top of the ridge. And then stay in the treed, lightly treed area on the ridge. There's another gully right here we'll have to skirt, probably on the high side a little bit. And now this has us going down off the ridge again, but we're going to stay on there and then shoot that goalie all the way down. Okay. So that gives you an idea of how we can use satellite imagery and slope angle analysis to find cross country routes through complex terrain that are a little safer and can be done with a higher level of confidence. This becomes really important when you are in whiteout conditions. You really wanna have your route dialed in with satellite imagery so that, I mean, I mean in most cases, if, it, if there was extreme weather, you wouldn't attempt a route like this, but if you had to or had the confidence that you could do it, then a, a, a more accurate route that's based on actual satellite imagery. And then the other next step is Google Earth so that you can see a little higher resolution in three dimensions. Um, you can dial it in on Google Earth as well. If you have those routes in hand, it gives you a much more uh, higher, much higher level of confidence to accomplish difficult things like this.